Diane from BTED Videos. We're calling to let you know you're overdue on returning one of our videos. It's titled, um, Air Force One, The First Lady Returns to the Mile High Club. <laughs> Mr. Touchdown, your UAA registration is complete. As of today, you are officially the fifth ranked assassin in the United States. Nice work. You are on the fast track to the top. Keep it up, and good luck. All right, everybody. Welcome back once again to No More Heroes. This should be episode 12. As always, I am Weeb Rabbit. And interesting fact before we move on, uh, Travis is ranked fifth overall in the UAA. Interesting little fact. I think I might have talked about it uh, back when we were, we were going to fight Shinobu. We were doing the high school level. But overall, in my class, I actually ranked fifth, you know, in my class of like my graduating class. So interesting. Ooh. You know, interesting nice. little number. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, once again, we have a invoice to fill out. The next fight is going to be 400,000 LB dollars. Uh, as always, I have Terrific with me. Terrific, how you doing, man? Yo, what's going on? I'm doing fine. Alrighty, and real quick for anyone who remembers, last episode was the weird one where we look at we got personally targeted. There was blood stains leading to the next fight. Uh, we went through a strange tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, we were back on the highway, surrounded by all those windmill things. It looked like we were gonna fight this guy like, named Let's Shake. That was a rocker with like, this weapon of mass destruction that he was super powering up. And then just as it looked like we were gonna fight it, uh, the guy named Henry came in killed it for us and then when we were going to fight him sylvia put a stop to it and it looks like she knows who henry is and henry seems to know who travis is so interesting stuff you know yes i'm, I'm gonna right, predict guys. it now uh, oh, what's up, predict it now real quick uh henry is travis's twin brother oh you're gonna go for the twin brother um yeah. angle right i mean he doesn't yes. even look like, like travis at all though fraternal twin Oh, okay, okay, I can see that, I can see that. <laughs> but you think it's going to go for that gimmick about like, oh my god, I have your long lost twin brother or whatever? Yes. All I'm right, we'll see. Now. We'll see if Traffic is right. In the meantime, let's exit the apartment. Alrighty, guys. It says a new part time job is available. Uh, how much money do we actually have? Does it actually tell me anywhere? They're going to have to put oh. the pause menu. Hold on. Let me pull up the pause menu. Uh, I have 339 because I know I need 400,000 for the next fight. So unfortunately, this time we're not already, you know, flowing with cash like other times. That should be fine. I think after we do the part time job and, you know, maybe one of those assassination gigs, we should mm -hmm. be ready for the next fight. So not too bad. We're not too far, you know? Yeah. All righty. Uh, real quick, I just remembered, I had mentioned it before, but remember when I told you that Dr. Peace, I think he's really cool, and I think it's a shame that they waste him so early on? Mm hmm Do you remember who I said I would have switched him with in terms of uh, ranking or whatever? Um, no, I don't. Okay, well, in case you're wondering, I said I would have switched him with the fourth ranked person because I felt the fourth person is very, um, what do you call it? They're very um, forgettable. So mm -hmm. when we get to that fight, I think you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay. All righty. When it comes to fights, I mean, not fights. When it comes to jobs, I'm very interested in what other jobs we have because I honestly don't remember anything else. Mm -hmm. So let's see what the new job is. Okay, so refresher, we've done coconut collecting, mm -hmm. we've done lawn mowing, we've done garbage collection, yeah. we have done the gas station, filling up cars, mm -hmm. the mine sweeping, which was terrible, definitely the worst side <laughs> job ever. And then yeah. now we have graffiti cleaning, erase graffiti okay. from the walls, 2000 for each removed. Okay. okay, honestly, I don't even remember this one, so that could be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what did we agree? Was it lawn mowing or trash pickup that may be the better alternative source of money? I think um, it was the trash pickup because you can run around the overworld and you just pick mm -hmm. up trash. And for each piece of trash, I think it was also like 2000 per trash or whatever. Yeah. And you can make some pretty good money, you know. It doesn't feel okay. like that monotonous or whatever. It feels like, okay, you know, it goes by pretty quickly. 
Okay, that's that's what I thought. I just couldn't remember. Yeah, Lawn Moon was also kind of slow. It wasn't like terrible, but it was also mm-hmm. kind of slow, honestly. Yeah, we need something action packed. Yeah. All right, so I do not remember where this job is at. Like I said, I don't even remember this job, honestly. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hopefully it doesn't end up being like another terrible one that's like, oh, I erased it from my memory because it was that bad. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. All right, so we're here. That was really quick. So let's see what this guy has to say. Uh, the unspoken rules of Santa Destroy will never change. A fight will rage on until graffiti is gone from the town of freedom and lawlessness. Okay. Eternity is just around the corner. Your hard work can change this town. The future of Santa Destroy is a town without graffiti. Okay, I mean, I can kind of see that. You know, that's kind of a positive message. Yeah. Hard work will never betray you. Hard work will change your future. Honestly, this is kind of one of like the better pep talks he's had. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kill the god of graffiti. Of course, that's taking that direction. <laughs> work harder than you've ever worked before. All right. So let's see what we have to do to clean the graffiti. All right, mission start, erase the graffiti, but how do we actually, what, what's the prompt? That's why I wish they would tell us ahead of time. All right, so. <laughs> uh, is this not one of them? Uh, I mean, uh, okay, I guess, like it's it. not, <laughs> I guess it's not one of them. Oh yeah, it's not, look, this is one. Oh, okay, oops. Ah oh, yeah, scrub that thing, boy. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, and then we can obviously run around, so that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so it's just about running to each of the graffitis, and then it's shaking the controllers. That's actually not too bad. So, yeah, shake, 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 shake. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. 2,000 per thing. Yeah. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, of course, we have the running ability, too, which helps so we can get to the next graffiti real quick. So, mm-hmm. this would probably suck without that upgrade. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it would. Uh, with this upgrade, I think we can easily get a uh, 40k i mean hopefully yeah no but mark my words it's 40k okay and if you're wrong what happens um i'll, I'll give you my left kidney oh nice i've always yeah. wanted a third kidney yeah man no, even weirder <laughs> i've always wanted a fourth kidney like, <laughs> like why do you already have one <laughs> one in another bet <laughs> all right perfect Alrighty, alrighty. Um, oh, I guess while we're doing this, uh, we can finish up that Marvel uh, discussion. Oh, uh, you wanted to be all episode. you wanted to be all edgy and hate on Marvel, right? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> not yet. Um, but no, I was gonna say it's, it's actually really cool because I guess from one thing that I read, uh, I guess the Mar- the MCU was gonna be a lot different. I think they were actually gonna follow the comics more, except um, in Iron Man. Uh, at the end, with when you know Tony Stark, he reveals that he's actually Iron Man. Oh, should I said spoiler alert? Tony no, Stark is Iron Man. It's fine. <laughs> just, just wanted to be sure. Um, but yeah, no, I guess that was actually improv by Robert Downey Jr. And then they did it so. I mean, he did it so well, and they were like, "Man, we should keep this." And I guess that's like led to them like wanting to stray away a little bit from the comics and not do it like exactly one to one. Yeah, I kind of know what you're talking about because, like, um, in Civil War, the comic book storyline, mm-hmm. kind of the big deal about that is that every superhero has a secret identity, mm-hmm. and so you know how in this one it was about more about like whether they were going to be policed or not. Yeah. In the comic, the big deal was: do we want to let the world know our secret identities? Because oh. in order to be a hero, according to these new laws, they mm-hmm. say we have to give up our secret identities. And so mm-hmm. that was kind of the thing: like, do we go with that or not? But yeah, yeah, here in the MCU, you might notice that almost nobody has a secret identity except yeah. for like Peter Parker. Everyone's basically like the public knows who they are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's see. Wait, you said forty thousand. Let's see. Wow, only twenty thousand from this job. Huh. Yeah, it's not really worth it. It's a very easy job. Don't get me wrong; it's not hard. But mm-hmm. only twenty thousand maximum isn't that good. Yeah, I guess the graffiti is too spaced out. Yeah, like if it gave you more time, but see if it gave you more time, it would get tedious. That's the thing, though. Yeah. So maybe if they made it worth more, I think it'd be mm-hmm. good, better. Like if, if though each of the graffiti was worth like three thousand or four thousand, oh, that yeah, would make easily. it worth it. Yeah, it would easily. But yeah, two thousand per thing is not worth it. It just feels very meh. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, we still need another what, like forty thousand for the next rank fight. Yeah, something like that. 
uh, but yeah, as we we're saying, yeah, if you notice, the only one who has a secret identity basically is um, Peter Parker, because everybody else, like their their name is known. Like everybody mm-hmm. knows about Captain America. You know, Steve Rogers, yep. he's in everybody's like textbook, and then mm-hmm. Tony Stark is out here telling people who he is. <laughs> yeah, so is. yeah, um, secret identities weren't a big thing. So you're right, that is like very different. Welcome. Yeah, and and I really love how they incorporated that too. Although. Wish it could have been a little bit different because it seemed like Iron Man was the only one who suffered like ill effects from his secret identity being known. Because that, you know, that was a big plot. Um, like, because he had PTSD from it and some of the other, not PTSD, what am I trying to say? Um, oh, yeah, because in the third movie, someone like blew up his house because but I mean, he, was he was an like, idiot he was like come get me and they come and get him and like what did you think was gonna happen and that was stupid yeah, iron man but, 3 was really weird it was kind of a mess you know there's a lot of things going on it was weird yeah i still need to watch it fully because to me I, I still have yet to see all of it uh, i still need to do that but but i just kind of wish that more superheroes faced you know what i mean like ill effects from it because that is a big deal you know letting the entire public know who you are because you have you know you have enemies. well that's probably so. what they're gonna dive into in the new spider-man movie because if you've seen the last one uh his identity gets revealed and he's mm-hmm. always someone that's so secretive about his identity who he is yeah. so i think they're definitely gonna touch upon what you want and they're definitely gonna show like oh crap what happens when like you know your identity you've been trying so hard to keep gets mm-hmm. like messed up you know what i mean yeah yeah so that'll be nice yeah, there's a lot of other people too if you notice they're alone so it mm-hmm. doesn't matter if people know who steve rogers is i mean he's yeah. by himself yeah. same thing with you know all these other people i mean oh, they don't really so have nice. anyone that you could hurt so that's true um what was i gonna say oh and i guess while we're on the topic of the mcu you know, you know never, we already talked about the about dc i forgot where we talked about it but we already covered that so i don't think we need to rehash it yeah, I think we talked about it when we talked about, um, I think we were also talking about something about the MCU and then it just came up, I think. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the DC, man, it's just a mess. And I don't know, it's so weird how many people still believe in it. Like, there's so <laughs> many people that are so excited for the Zack Snyder cut. And it's like, mm-hmm. guys, if he couldn't do it the first time, if all his other movies are, like, really dreary and boring and full of, like, tropes and stuff, you yeah. really think this one's gonna be special? Like, come on, guys. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna man. be four hours. I don't know if you saw that. It's gonna be four hours. That's that's terrible. That is I don't too want much, that. man. <laughs> that is way too much. Yeah, it is. Oh man. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of wrestling moves. I don't know if you noticed that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I've always wondered, what I'm wondering though, I wonder if any other franchise is going to be able to do a, a connected universe. Um, Cause so no, many think, wanted to, or yeah. were going to try, and they just never worked out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think, I think, I think a lot of the companies now are like wary of it, and so they don't want to try doing it, if that makes sense. Cause I mean, Dark Universe tried. It was mm-hmm. gonna do all the the Marvels monsters or what? I mean Marvel, all the Universal mm-hmm. monsters, and then mm-hmm. it failed so bad with the mummy. And they, they just yeah. like, oh, there we go, perfect, fifty thousand. That's good. So I think we have yeah. exactly enough for the next fight. Nice. Oh my god, yeah. Dark Universe tried. It failed with the first movie, which is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Other ones have tried, but like, yeah, they've kind of been weary of like, it, it's hard to like craft a extended universe. Yeah, I oh. think the issue, uh, it, it'll be a similar issue with Marvel and how uh, how Marvel spent 10 years doing it and they're trying to rush it because they want to get, you know, they want the same return that Marvel got from it. Same with DC. Uh, yeah. DC well, that's kind of working right now. I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if you saw a trailer for Kong versus Godzilla. No, I haven't. Yeah, so Kong versus Godzilla, I mean, they had kind of been wanting to do a thing for a while, and that seems like it's kind of working. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kong versus Godzilla, it looks like it might be kind of good. It, look, it looks pretty interesting. So that's okay. one that might work as an extended universe of, you know, uh, different kaiju and stuff battling out. They've been yeah. wanting to cross it over with stuff like Pacific Rim, you know, uh-huh. so we'll see if that works. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that does sound pretty cool, then. Because I don't know, have they always been in the same universe, like Pacific Rim? I know, like I know that. I, no, I think Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim is its own thing. Okay. 
Speaking of which, uh, I'm so upset with what happened with Pacific Rim. I love the first one. I think it is so cool. I think mm-hmm. it is awesome how it's like really inspired by anime and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, you know, really like Guillermo del Toro really had a vision for it. And he went with it. Mm-hmm. And I think they just like totally threw that all out the window with the sequel. Mm, that sucks. I mean, have you seen the second one? Have you seen any of the Pacific Rims? Oh, no, I haven't seen any of them. Because the first one literally feels like anime. You can tell he was inspired by anime. Mm-hmm. It's like such an anime thing. Oh, the new model, yeah, it's complete. I was going to say, let's check if she has a uh, uh, pretty huh? Just look at its shape. Only I can make something so beautiful. Mm-hmm. So we, she finally has our new beam katana I was wondering about. Ah, 148,000, though. We don't have enough. Dang it. I really want to use it, though. <laughs> uh, we're gonna ha- I'm going to have to grind off screen, I guess. Yeah, we can grind off screen. All right. Should we do that real quick? Uh, yeah, I don't mind it. All right. So look, real quick, guys, we're probably going to grind off screen. That way we can get this uh, katana and we can take it into the next fight. So we will see you guys in a moment. Or at least for yeah. you guys, it'll be a moment. For us, it'll be much longer. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, and we are back, folks. As, as you can see, we have enough money now. We have about 180,000 LB dollars. Unfortunately, though, I'm just going to, you know, full disclosure. At one point, I accidentally went back to the apartment because I wanted to change my shirt back because as I was running around, I accidentally changed Travis's shirt and we triggered the cutscene. So after this, uh, you guys will see the cutscene that's like out of order. I'll edit it in. And then after that, we'll pick up after the the. the cutscene you'll you see what it means just just stick with it but in the meantime uh yeah so this is the new beam katana it costs 148,000. it says the beam katana created by naomi beam emitter and receiver can now operate simultaneously it says hmm. uh that and then you will buy it so it is an upgrade it's called subaki mach 2 hmm. and then is there any parts i don't think so yeah i think she saw some parts near like one of the last fights all right, but as you can see, we now have a new katana, guys, that I will be using for the next fight. And we even have 30,000 LB dollars left. So perfect. Now, without further ado, you're going to now see the cutscene that we accidentally stumbled upon earlier. And then we'll meet you back up after the cutscene that's out of order. So we'll see you in a moment. Travis, the next rank is fourth. Who is it? But come to think of it, it doesn't really matter, does it? I am sending you a ticket for a show. Look nice. Let's go together. Number four will be there. A show? Wait. This is a date, right? Something like that. Why else would I be getting an oil rub? What? What did you say? Someone's rubbing you down? I'll see you later. Alrighty, guys, and we are back. As you can see, it was kind of a mess where we accidentally stumbled upon the cutscene, so things were a bit out of order. But as you can see, there you go. Uh, yeah, Sylvia was getting ready for a night on the town with Travis, and she left him a ticket. So real quick, before we end this part off, let's see where that ticket. Uh, let's see where that ticket leaves us. You know, let's see if we get some information. I'm pretty sure we should get the splash taunt. So let's head to that real quick. And yeah, once again, terrific, as you might remember. Uh, yeah, in a moment, you're going to see the splash taunt leading to the fourth fight. And yeah. this is the one that I said, man, if I was in charge of the game, I would totally put Dr. Peace in this spot because this person we're going to fight, I just think they're really unmemorable. I, it's so weird. For being like the fourth fight, you think there would be like a lot of importance to this person. Mm-hmm. And it feels like they're just kind of meh, kind of forgettable. Mm-hmm. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Okay. Like the fight against them is fine. The fight against them is fine, but like everything else around them is just kind of eh. Okay. Alrighty. So once again, we're heading towards the... <laughs> Damn it, <Travis. laughs> uh, Once again, we're heading for the subway. And yeah, let's play that splash taunt before we end the next... Before we end this part. So rank number four. Uh... Alrighty, so a guy with a very, very long name. His name is Harvey Moishkowitz Volotarski. And his splash taunt is that he says, Let's see what you're made of, country boy. So, real quick, what do you think he might be? What, what do you think his, his position might be? Like his job? Man, I have no idea. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, 
He'll be a redneck. He'll be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, is one of the ones that you'll never guess in a thousand years. Like I said, it's oh, very, man. very random. But yeah, guys, oh, we'll man. have to wait until next time. Uh, this has been the end of episode 12. We will see you next time for episode 13, where hopefully we'll fight our way to the next fight. We'll fight assassin number four, and we'll find out what his occupation is. Oh, and not only that, but I will also activate the new beam katana, which as you can see, it's really big. It looks really cool now, so... <laughs> Alrighty, guys, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.